Hello and thank you for taking time to view this uh, virtual lab where we will be going over how to create a user account in Active Directory. So for this, uh, this uh, tutorial what I'm going to be doing is using a free online simulation of Windows Server 2008 that has Active Directory installed. So if you can look in the uh, resource bar at the top you can see the particular lab I'm using is managing Windows Server 2008 Beta 3 using new management technologies. So go through all of this. It'll ask you for a few pieces of information to sign up to be able to use the Microsoft Technic Virtual Labs. Uh, go through that. It's pretty simple. Nothing obtruse. Doesn't cost anything and it shouldn't take very long. You will need to use Internet Explorer to have this work. So once you have go through that you can hit uh, start the lab and so the lab is now started it's going to ask me do I want to continue hit yes and close this entity here so right now what we're actually looking at is a simulated installation of Windows Server 2008 the lab is intended to do other things but what we're going to be doing today is going into Active Directory and creating a user account and group. So to get in there I'll hit start administrative tools uh, Active Directory users and computers that should bring me to the Active Directory screen so that I can see which users and computers and everything that's currently in the domain. So the na name of this, this domain that's already set up is woodgrovebank.com and I'll go down here into the users folder I'll notice that there are many already built-in users um, and several groups created. First what we want to do is create a couple of users. So I can right click on users, uh, click new, user, give this user a name, I'll just use my name, Jonathan M. Yerby. And this is where I need to carefully think, what do I want the naming scheme of my users to be? I will say, I will say, um, first initial, middle initial, complete last name, hit that. And I need to give a password that will meet the password requirements for this domain. And you can set these as well. Okay, created that user. Let's see. Let's create a few more just for practice. So again, right click new user Jane D Smith. So we'll say J D Smith, first initial, second initial last name oh, passwords did not match okay created that and let's create one more user just so I can give you a uh, a real scenario that you will likely encounter in the real world. So again, our naming convention is first initial, middle initial, and the last name. So J.D. Smith, right? Oh, what happens? Okay, what it's telling us is uh, the username J.D. Smith already exists we use that with Jane D Smith so that's why you'll see it a lot of times at corporations or uh, either in school or wherever you're at you'll see this so this will be JD Smith too because John was just a little too late Jane was hired at the company first or maybe Jane's a higher ranking uh, person in the company and she didn't want to have the two behind her name whatever the case is we can't have two JD Smiths. Each username within a domain is unique. So it's pretty simple to take care of that. Just always take care of it in the same fashion. 
So if we're putting a 2 here and later we encounter the same thing with another set of initials or a set, another set of usernames, don't start putting um, JD Smith B, JD Smith C. You know, stick to the to the numbers or stick to the letters or um, whatever format you choose. Just make sure you stick with it. So we got to create a password for this this person. Okay, so we've finished that. We've got our users here. If we want to give these people uh, descriptions, say so we can say President Description Senior Okay, so ignore any spelling errors there. So we've created users, we've created the descriptions for the users. Uh, the last thing I wanted to show you in this tutorial is how to create groups. So it's pretty simple. Uh, going along the same thing, we right click here in the users folder, go to new, and instead of selecting user, we select group. So we will select, we will create an accounting group, and we'll leave it as a global security group so groups created that was it for that and to add people to this group as simple as going to the members and let's see JD let's see if that's enough to find so we hit JDS and we told it to check names and so what it's going to do is go out there and try to find uh, users with that in their account so actually worked out pretty well for us we can go ahead and select both of these hit OK now the uh, the two users Jane Smith and John Smith are in the accounting group now when we want to apply permissions we can apply them to the group instead of applying them individually to each users this will save us lots of time and be able to track who has permissions to what easier. So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for taking time to view it. And if you have any questions, uh, please contact me. Thank you. Bye-bye.